Hey guys, Jen Holman from Jen Holman Fitness here tonight to talk with you guys about freezer crock pot meals. So I'm just going to give everybody a few minutes to sign on. Um, hey there, Quick Clean Eats. How you doing tonight? Um, we're going to be chatting about freezer crock pot meals in just a few quick... Oh, thank you for the love. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys tonight about some real lifesavers for me when it comes to dinner as school starts. So I'm a teacher, I'm going back to school on Monday, and that means the insanity is about to begin. And after coming home the first week of school, I don't know about you guys out there, whether you're teachers, whether you're moms, whether you're working professionals, you are beat, you are exhausted, and the last thing you want to do is prepare a huge meal for your family. So I've been doing this the past couple of years with my friends and it is really a lifesaver. We go online and we look for healthy crock pot meals, okay? There are tons and tons and tons of recipes. Just Google healthy freezer crock pot meals. I have a ton of recipes that I am flipping through and finding. If you would like some of the, those recipes, please go to my Facebook page, Jen Holman Fitness, and like them, like my page, and I'll be happy to email you a ton of recipes. So first go through the recipes and find the ones that are going to work for you and your family, okay? Then you need to get yourself a crock pot. If you do not have a crock pot, I highly recommend one that has a timer. So here's the deal. I used to have a crock pot that didn't have a timer, and it would just, you'd have to be home, which kind of defeats the purpose of it. But my new one has a timer, so if it has to cook for five hours, once it hits five hours, it automatically switches to warm, which is fantastic. But here's a little tip. If you're going to be doing that and it's going to be sitting on warm for quite a while, you're going to want to reduce your cooking time a little bit or else your, your meat is going to get overdone and nobody wants that, right? So definitely get a crock pot that has a timer, okay? Then you're going to get yourself a whole bunch of handy dandy Ziploc freezer bags, okay? I write the recipe's name on it and then I write all the instructions for what I need to do when I'm going to take this out of the freezer right on the back. So I'm not searching for the recipe again. I'm not doing that, okay? I have it all right here. So I prep all my meals. I put them in here. Here's another tip. When you put your food in the Ziploc bag, you want to get out all of the air, okay? You know how when you put stuff in the freezer, you get those white little snowflakes? It gets, you know, you know it's not looking so good. That's when you have too much air in your freezer bag. So press it and press it and press it some more until you get as much air out as possible. And you also want it to be as flat as possible. So I lie them flat on my freezer, in my freezer rather, and I let them stay that way until they're good and frozen, and then I'll shift them around in my freezer, okay? Um, so those are a couple of good tips. Another good tip is if you want to make a soup, like I'm making a soup, I don't add the broth when I'm freezing. I put all the ingredients in my freezer bag. I freeze that. And then when I'm making it, then I add the broth. So here's the deal. I go to school next week. I know that on Thursday, my sons both have soccer practice. It's going to be madness. So on Wednesday, I take out my freezer meal. I put it in the fridge and I let it thaw overnight. And then Thursday morning before I go to work, boom, throw it in the crock pot, turn it on. And then when I come home Thursday night, it is ready to go. I have one meal prepared for each of the first six weeks of school. And I know this is going to be a huge lifesaver for me. So if there's any other working moms, busy moms out there, give me a little love. And tell me if you think this is something that can work for you. This has been a game changer for me and a lifesaver for me. So I highly recommend you do it. So go to Jen Holman Fitness and like it. And I will be happy to send you some recipes. I hope you found these tips helpful. And um, if you have any questions, just send me a private message at Jen Holman Fitness. All right, guys. Have a great night and happy freezer crock potting. Take care. Bye.